Good morning, good morning. It is approximately four o'clock in the morning when I did this, but some days just go like that. This is my junky scrap paper journal and it's not right in the center seam. I just tried to um, hinge it with little tiny pieces of paper. You can see that loose one right above where I just glued on. It's all off kilter. So I took a bunch of it apart yesterday. I haven't put it back together yet. Um, I'm just gluing stuff down in the hopes that I can paint some stuff, let it dry, go back to sleep perhaps. And then when it's time to get up, have some coffee, a leisurely morning and paint some more and record it. Semi in focus, semi in frame. And so at this point, I'm barely awake and no coffee. Apparently, I need to do this more often at that stage of life and of the day because I really like this one a lot. Um, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't choosing. I wasn't, you know, I just watched somebody that said that you need to do this every once in a while because it sparks creativity and I agree because this could last me the next week um, just kind of I attached everything which I still still love that result somebody no can't see um, a top serenity hill I took a class from her before nine I mean uh, COVID and she said first of all she told me that you definitely are a collage, a collage person. And second of all, connect your stuff. It kind of gives it fluid uh, appearance. And I, I still follow that rule. I still agree. I still love that thought process. And I it works for me. But that advice that she gave me was really good for me. Um, again, I don't teach because I am not a, a person that knows what they're doing. I just know that when I put this stick in my hand that's got stuff at the end of it and I get more stuff on the end of it in the form of color, I love it and I have fun. And that's that's the entire goal for me. Um, and I just love the way this kind of all semi makes an abstract landscape or horizon sort of. Um, really, really love that. Um, and at four o'clock in the morning, I was not thinking about what I was going to do. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, it could change. All of that could change. Um, so while I'm on a roll here, I just took a couple more things that I had started yesterday and added a little paint to them in the form of, in the hopes of them drying again, drying. And then um, see what happens after that. This is all complete and utter play. This is my... Uh, paper that I got at, at Walmart in the paint department. I love this paper. I saw somebody else using it. And I'm like, mm, I don't know what about what there is about it, but it's working for me. So my four o'clock painting uh, stint is working out. Um, and I'm just trying to put blocks of color down, not really contemplating what I'm doing. But then I'm like, you know what? If I go over this and kind of scribble in it while it's all wet, it'll give me some textures that I kind of think I need. Um, I, I must have uh, in order to produced, produce something artistic. Don't listen to me babble. I am just babbling. I am just, I, I, there I go, there I go. It's starting to kick in, starting to kick in. Um, it must be 4.03 now. <laughs> excuse me, must be 4.03 because um, things are starting to wake up and uh, I don't have my magic bracelet anymore. It's packed away uh, for next time, but maybe I should get it out. I don't know. Uh, all I know is I'm adding texture by using the end of the paintbrush and going in things and revealing the color underneath and it's all wet. And this paper has kind of like a sheen on the back or maybe it, that's the front, I don't know. And um, it kind of is very thin, but strong at the same time. I wonder what it would do with a jelly plate, I don't know. 
Anyhow, I'm just kind of just winging it here. I have to be kind of careful because I'm worried about tearing the paper. But really and truly, it's all for fodder to be torn up anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm kind of just pulling some of that pink back off and putting it back in that book. My little four-incher. And having the time of my life. So now I've decided that clean off your brush, you're going back to sleep. Put the lid back on things um, and see if you can't get a few more minutes of shut-eye. Newsflash, it didn't happen. But I can tell you um, almost 12, uh, 10 hours later, now that I'm editing this, what a day. What a beautiful, beautiful day here. It is 80 degrees. The beach is not packed because there aren't that many people here. And who knows how long we're going to get to keep this weather. And we just really have taken advantage of it today. And having the time of our life, even the dog, you shall see. So I kind of just scribbled. I'm a little perturbed with our entire country. Not you guys, but the political system. And I'm just like, it's all broken. It's just all broken. And I'm taking my anger out on it. And inside eternally screaming, somebody help us. Anyhow. That was fun. We'll see what happens. Just came back from the thrift store. I think I'm going to, um, I love these things because they have so many pictures. Young People's Encyclopedia of the United States. But I think this one I'm going to use as a altered book. I think. I don't, maybe, I don't know. But then I always love a, a children's dictionary too. I cut these things off all the time. And I have several at home, but I don't have any here now. So now I do. And I like the kind that are specifically water, like drawn images rather than photographs. Because then you can practice. They're easier to practice from. Ooh, that's what made me break my ankle. And a thousand pieces. But anyhow, not bad for a dollar fifty each. All right, I've been playing, obviously. Let's see if they're dry. Yeah, I like how that goes through here. I might just leave that just like it is for now. This one might. I can work on this now a little bit. And I've got a couple, I added black to this one and then I picked it up and it ran. So I'll just let it go. Kind of like that. I have four little dudes I'm working on. In fact, I think I might add, oh, remember I was looking for that Halloween book? Just found it. Oh, it might be done. Well, there's a couple pages in here. One. Maybe we'll just paint it. Oh, and I do have another one on this one so just going to continue playing painting letting it dry and on repeat and there's a few new people here so this is not what I normally do although I do this in between projects and for whatever reason, my head needs to have a project specific to, within the guidelines of a month. I start at the beginning of the month, end at the end of the month. Don't ask me why. There's no rhyme, no reason to any of it. But that's just what I do. And I just finished October. And I've worked quite a bit on September. I did a bunch of stuff to help with October. But I pretty much used it all. Um... 
August, I was gone half the month, and then I recorded my vacation in England the rest of the month. And right now, so I kind of have been working pretty steady on a couple big projects like this. So I think I'm just playing for the month of November. That could change at any moment. But I like to make my own base of something. So we're just going to keep this up. And I do say welcome. All right, I forgot to turn on my light. To any new people, welcome. I don't always say, because I have a pretty much a pretty steady audience, audience, and um, I don't always say welcome, because I forget you can watch this whenever you want to, sometimes. Which, by the way, you can. <laughs> oh, my stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. Probably could. I am very untrained. It's quite evident. But I'm highly trained in fun. So buckle up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. My name is Beth. I live in South Carolina. Um, I've lived here two thirds of my life. I'm actually from California, the San Francisco Bay area. Came out here on a whim to spend the summer with family friends and basically never left. <laughs> a long time ago. I think I like that. We're just going to leave this one to dry. This kind of is a project for November. It's just a piece of something that I glued paper together to make a little book. They're going for a walk. They, the dog and the husband. We just got caught in a traffic jam. There was about 20 geese <laughs> crossing the street. Everybody just stops. We are at our beach house and we have been lucky enough for the last couple winters to be able to spend part of our winter here, fall and winter into early spring. Last year we had to leave early, but um, luckily my husband, who's not retired yet, is way past retirement age, but um, he's one of these that, first of all, he's self-employed. So if you're self-employed, you kind of, your pension plan is your own. <laughs> and uh, we do have plans, but, and he worked for all that, but, he just is one of the few people that does what he does in the state. And so he kind of really has a, a good thing going and he keeps going. Even though he has somebody now working with him that will sort of take over and he'll act as a consultant. He's been working with her for a couple years now. All right, let's see, what could we add to this? This is a, just my little pile of paint I'm working out of. Um, and let's do, that's, we have, this is Stabilo. This is Tempera Paint Sticks. This is Cheap Acrylic from Target, who changed their formula, and I don't like it anymore. But they're still black on here, so that's good. It almost comes out yellow on this. This is painter's paper that painters like put across stuff they don't want to spray on. And I saw somebody else using this. It's super cheap. You can get a hundred feet for like $4. It comes on a roll. I'm like, I think I will try some of that. And then I could just cut this up into anything and apply it anywhere. 
So I'm really just kind of having fun. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. Some, uh, may, I'm making fodder. Some may turn into something. Just this. I doubt it because it's not really good. It's super thin paper. And it's not quite matte and it's not quite glossy. Actually, I think it's glossy on one side. My craft room at the beach is in a walk-in closet <laughs> because we don't need a beach, a, a walk-in closet at the beach. Um, so I took over the walk-in closet the first winter we were here and it works perfectly. Ooh, I did a lot of this in November. I mean, in September, but um, there's still some empty stuff. Oh, see, that's what I like. I have a couple jelly plates here, but I really haven't got them out. I used a little bit in September jelly plates. I'm just gonna let that one dry. Hmm, I'm running out of floor space, even if it is a big closet. Now, let's see what we can do with this. I added a little bit of pink um, tempera paint sticks. I love these things. I don't sell and I don't teach because I don't know what I'm doing, therefore I don't teach, but I will recommend stuff when I like it. These tempera paint sticks, they're kids grade. I love them. They're kind of like lipstick consistency. All right, we're gonna go to a different page here. And They don't mesh well with a lot of other stuff. They're not water soluble. You can move stuff around a little bit if you're quick. I'm gonna take this Stabilo and put it in here while this is so wet. These, Stabilo Woodies. I love them. So I kinda of want this to go grunge up a little bit. That is a verb, grunge up. Hmm. I like where that's going. Um, and these come in all kinds of colors. There's a Stabilo All that's skinny. And um, they're, these are water activated. My other favorite thing, Neo Color 2s. Those three things you can do almost anything with. To your heart's content. Mm, let's see, what color do I want to add with that? Let's add some splashy pink. This has got green paint on it and it's a little wet. Mixing it with that kind of messes with its color, but some of the fun stuff. I like to work intuitively. I like the paper to tell me what it wants to do a lot. Maybe not that much. I just need a lot of mud. And I don't throw anything away, hardly. Because <laughs> everything can be used. All right, let's just see what happens. These little guys came from Michael's, and I love this one. Oh, I lost it now. Where might it be? I did a lot of stuff in here in November. I mean, in September. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yeah. 
See, I just like the mess of all of that. Just let that dry and see what it wants to be. Now, I add a little bit of green on here. And this, I really don't want to take it too far because I, I want to, this is going to be collage paper and just add it to something else and then work on it. Just kind of want enough to be have some texture to it, some oomph. When that dries. All right, let's see if there's some blank page in here, one or two, or pages that weren't finished, perhaps. I think that could use a little lime green right there. This was a travel brochure from uh, Viking, yeah, Viking Cruises. <laughs> we get them in the mail at about twice a week. They slow down though. We haven't taken one in a while. I am part gypsy. I love to go. Give me a suitcase and a destination and I will go. Ooh, I see. That's a good start right there for something. But I might add a little blue because there's a little blue acrylic here somewhere. And this is slick paper, so it reacts differently. I have been to art school at YouTube University. Just watching other people, I've learned a lot. A lot more than I knew, that's for sure. I've had too much paint here. That's my washing machine in the next room. <laughs> this gives you lots of freedom to just kind of let loose and go. I'm too impatient to wait for this to work right, so I'm just adding more paint. And I might do the same thing here. Hmm. No earth shattering effects. Oh, but I like that. Oh man, I just covered it up. Somewhere there's some cardboard. Which makes me think, let's just add a few lines in all this. I like bright colors too, in case you haven't figured that part out. I just like they sing. Bright colors just sing. Make your heart happy. Let's see, let me clean off this a little bit. I'm kind of messy. My stomach's growling. I haven't had breakfast yet. Thrift store happened first. My husband went to Bojangles and I am still on a massive diet. So no Bojangles for me, but I need to eat some oatmeal. But I haven't been. First things first, thrift stores and videos. All right, let's see, here's some blue. I'm just kind of as so as not to waste paint. This is paper that came in an Amazon box. <laughs> Everything is fodder. 
water material. Okay, I think at some point I have to reduce the amount of stuff I have going on. But right now I'm working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my favorite number. Works out perfectly. I just it's kind of, you know what? Hold everything. Yep. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Oh, that's better. As interest. This has got kind of like a slick back. So it, it's semi-strong, but yet not strong. If that makes any sense at all. Everything's a little goopy today. That's good. Goop is good. That needs some pink. Again, these are supposed to just be talking on their own. Not creating major statements. Because I may tear up a little corner. Who knows? But I do know it's fun. That is my massive, most important goal. You must be having fun. All right, I got things balanced. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Might do some more final touches to them tomorrow. And then put them away and start with seven more. Yes, yes, yes. Fun times, fun times. <laughs>